Hey everybody. So, I got an email from CompTIA and I wanted to share it with all of you. While I'm at the airport, I'm on the way to Maine. A lot of you have started to become cynical because you believe that, you know, signing petitions and showing up at hearings and discussing issues is not actually going to create change. Some of my recent videos I was criticizing CompTIA because they create certifications that, in my opinion, do not help people. In my opinion, they're a troll toll. In my opinion, they collect 300 to 500 dollars from you and give you a piece of paper that does not help you troubleshoot in either an enterprise or a consumer environment, hardware or software, because of how irrelevant and outdated the information they're teaching you is. And it's not enough for them to just be happy that they're printing 50 million a year or so off of these certifications. They have to lobby against right to repair and your ability to do your job. People who seek these certifications are looking to improve their standing and increase their likelihood of getting a job. And they're directly competing with that. But further, they're not, I shouldn't even use the word competing, they're, they're just hindering you. Because CompTIA doesn't actually have certifications for what we do. There is no CompTIA iPhone certified data recovery certification. There is no CompTIA certified MacBook logic board repair person. There is no CompTIA certified micro soldering. So it's not even like that this bill affects their revenue in any way because nobody in our business even has the avenue to give CompTIA money to become certified to do what we do so that they could get access to chips and parts and tools. I was very aggravated with the fact that they kept showing up in of opposition to right to repair. And I've voiced this very vocally. I've given my thoughts in several recent videos I've done on CompTIA. I'd like to read you an email that I received yesterday. Hi, Lewis. I'm Anonymous from CompTIA, and I'm contacting you on behalf of our CEO, Todd something. We've watched your videos and the increased dialogue on right to repair. We appreciate your passion on the issue, our certification program in the technology industry. If you're willing, we'd like an opportunity to understand your perspective further and discuss these issues with you. Would you have time to speak with Todd this week? I'm happy to set up a call or an in-person meeting at our headquarters outside Chicago at your convenience. Thanks, Kelly. I scheduled a meeting for 2 p.m. today, and about 20 minutes before the meeting was scheduled, I received this email. Hi, Lewis. I'm reaching out to you again on behalf of our CEO. He won't be able to make today's call. We're stepping back from the debate going forward and will offer no further public comments. We feel the most productive role we can play is acting as an impartial facilitator to bring the interested parties together to find a compromise solution. What the fuck? We welcome your participation in the process. I believe that's their social media manager way of saying, loosely translated. They realize that risking a $50 million a year business for an anti-repair lobbying side hustle is a bad business. I agree. And that's where we are right now. I've done these CompTIA videos over a week. It took one week. One week. And we've already gotten one firm with over 50 million a year in revenue to decide they're not going to show up at these hearings anymore. Well, one down, three to go. I couldn't have done this without all of you. Without all of you supporting me, without all of you watching the videos, without all of you pointing out things that I could bring up, and without all of you keeping me motivated to keep doing what I do. Thank you very much. I'm going to keep doing my work. I'm at an airport. I'm about to fly to Maine right now to show up at another hearing. And I realize, trust me, I understand it's very easy to become cynical. It's very easy to believe there's no point in trying because corruption will always win, big money will always win, blah, blah, blah. No. The people who are correct, the people who are doing the right thing in the long run are the people who are going to win. My dad used to say that life doesn't start fair, but it has a way of kind of finding its, its level. Like if you put, you know, yeah, let's say I have like a ping pong ball or something and you, and you like have one in the bottom of the ocean and another that's at the, that you drop out of a plane. Eventually they're going to find their level. And you know what? Sometimes the corruption and the money and the so on and so forth is going to land, is going to start high and we're going to start low, but we're going to find our level. And I really do enjoy having this opportunity to find my level here. We're going to get some really great progress going on here, and I just thank you again for being a part of it. And I look forward to not hearing from CompTIA at any of these hearings ever again. See you in the next video. Now how to hit stop.